Acara recently released a huge update. I can now control my Acara pet feeder in the Apple Home app, play alarm sounds as part of my HomeKit automations. You can use your Acara hubs as an IR blaster. Now working in HomeKit, all this and more is now possible thanks to a new feature that allows us to export Acara scenes over to the Apple Home app. I'm gonna show you how to do it and show you why. This is a pretty big deal if you use Acara products. And if you don't, you might want to after watching today's video. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home, smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. All right, so Acara just kind of quietly rolled out a firmware update with a huge new feature that really got me excited. So I think this is the biggest feature update that they've had in quite a while, I think in their app. Now, thanks to Acara for sponsoring today's video. If you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you probably already know that I am a big fan of the Acara smart home products. I have been since long before they ever sponsored the channel actually. And if you're not already familiar with Acara, they do make lots of smart home products, including cameras, locks, sensors, buttons, and just so much more almost all of which do support Apple Home. Now, most of their products come at very reasonable prices when compared to the competition without sacrificing reliability or quality, and that's why I've been using them and recommending the Acara stuff for many years. Their smart home products are usually packed full of features, but most of the time, only a fraction of that functionality is actually accessible in the Apple Home app. And that's not to Acara's fault, that's just because there are limits to what you can do in Apple HomeKit. That brings us to this new feature that they just rolled out. I think this feature could be huge for a lot of folks. For example, I've been asked many times over the years about IR blasters and uh, you know how can I get an IR blaster to work in HomeKit you know, natively, and there just have never been any reasonable options until now. You can now export any scene that you make in the Acara app over to HomeKit, including infrared controls. Now, this means that basically anything we can do in the Acara app through scenes, like control those IR devices, among other things, that can now be done also in the Apple Home app. Like I said, I can also control my Acara pet feeder now in HomeKit, which I couldn't do before, so me and my dog are both pretty happy about that one. With this feature, you can also play alarms and sounds on the Acara hubs right from HomeKit automations. I think this really could open up some um, awesome automation possibilities for those who get creative. Essentially, you can have a siren or alarm that works natively in HomeKit. There are a lot of things you can do with this. You can open the Acara app if you have it, and basically, like I said, anything that you can do through Acara scenes can be ported over to HomeKit to control in the Apple Home app or through automations over there. Let me show you how it works. We'll start with a scene utilizing an IR blaster since like I said, that's something I've been asked many times and I think that's something that a lot of people could be interested in. Now, currently there are two Acara hubs that have the IR blaster capability. That's the Acara G3 camera hub and the M2 hub, which is the one that I'll be using here today. All right, so let's open up the Acara app and uh, first I'll go over to my scenes tab. Now you can see here, I have a few scenes already, including that feed the dog scene, which we'll come back to in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and create a new automation or actually a new scene. So just to show you real quick, I'm gonna hit add action. And here you can see you actually have a delay and some other things up here you can do. But I'm gonna scroll down and I'm looking for my LG TV. So this is actually this TV back here. So I've already paired this TV uh, through the IR as an IR device to my Acara M2 hub, okay? So I'm gonna tap on that and you can see here, this is basically all the buttons for the remote, the IR remote that you can do. I'm just gonna create one that pushes the power button, so on off um, and let's do that. So action, super simple scene. It will just basically push the power button for this TV. Okay, and that's it. And I'm gonna hit save and I'll name it TV power on off, done. Hit okay. All right, now we have our new scene right here. So now all we have to do is just export this over to HomeKit and it's super easy to do with any of your scenes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right here. If I tap edit, 
Uh, you can see I've got that little icon, little HomeKit icon by a couple of them. I have these already in HomeKit. I'm gonna add these other two to HomeKit right now. So we have the TV power on off and we have the air horn alert. And then you just tap this button right here, add to Apple Home. Now here, you're going to have to select one of your car hubs. So it's kind of using the hub to, to do this in a way. Uh, now, something to note, this will not work if you have your hub paired to Matter. So you see, I actually don't have my Acara M2 hub listed right here because that hub is already bound to Matter. So uh, Matter is a topic probably for another day. I've done some videos on that if you're interested. Hey, sorry to interrupt the video, but I really wanted to just clarify this a little bit more. So you can use your Acara hub with matter and still do the scene sync thing but you have to be using kind of the legacy like the old way of integrating your acara hub into HomeKit. Uh, as some of you may know when you add your acara hub to matter when you bind it to matter uh, if your hub is already integrated into HomeKit through the old way you will then have duplicate acara hubs in HomeKit. they both still work but if you remove uh, that original HomeKit integration, that original Apple Home integration, and just integrate the hub into HomeKit through Matter, then you will not be able to do the scene sync with that hub. So I hope that makes sense and clarifies it a little bit. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Back to the video. So for me, I'm just gonna use the M1S for that. And it's adding these. Uh, it says this one, <laughs> pro name, name contains prohibited characters okay so i guess you can't have a slash in the name so um all right so i would just hit done one of those didn't work so i'm gonna have to go in here and change the name on this one all right okay done now um oh look there's actually a button right here now we can just hit add to apple home okay so awesome so i will do that so I guess that's another way you can do it. Learn something new right there. <laughs> um, and it has been added successfully. I'll hit done. Okay. If we go back, I did just want to show you real quick before we open up the home app, I'll show you this air horn alert. So this will actually play a air horn alert at volume all the way maximum on the M1S hub, which actually has a really loud speaker. So that's really cool. But just to show you some other you know, capabilities here, my car pet feeder, I can, you know, add the feeding here, which is one that I've already done. Uh, and this is gonna depend on what devices you have set up in your car app, of course. But if we go to the video doorbell, you've got all these, you know, you can enable recording, play ringtones and stuff all through scenes. So pretty cool. Um, you can also add multiple actions here and you can add like delays and uh, you can get pretty creative here with this kind of stuff. So uh, just something to check out and play with. Uh, but now let's go ahead and go over to the Apple Home app. And let's see, look right there. We see my air horn alert has popped up and the TV power button has popped up. So actually, if I tap that right now, it should turn my TV off. So let's give it a shot. Boom. It works. Now, I'm really excited that Akara just gave us this new capability. I don't have a lot of IR devices in my home personally, but I think this could potentially be a game changer if you did. Not to mention all the other things that we can now do with this. You can tell your Akara cameras when to start or stop recording through scenes, which can be, of course, exported over to HomeKit. So that's awesome. You can play custom ringtones on your hubs or on the video doorbell if you have one of those. For me, again, controlling that pet feeder is really awesome. I can create a scene that turns off the regular feeding schedule for the dog and add that, you know, to a home kid vacation mode scene or an automation. Let me know how you might use this new feature. And if you want to see how I used a car products to set up a brand new smart home from scratch for my grandpa recently, check out this video right over here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.